so Wooly said to just start doing it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start. Uh, so I'm Jack Renaison. This is my podcast. I'm a call it jump cancel because anime fighting games and well I guess other things have to jump cancels too this waveform looks really really low so I'm gonna do something that I already checked I already know that this is loud enough but it doesn't look loud enough because I don't see big waves you understand me Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't, I don't really give a shit. I'm mean, just, just bump that up so it looks cooler. So we're going to bump it up to about. We were at nine o'clock. I'm thinking ten thirty. Ten thirty. That looks like a waveform. That looks like this audio going into the computer. And being all bumpy and whatnot, I like that. This podcast is very bad. I don't care. Now, I told my buddy, Wartville, to be here to record this podcast at 3. It's currently 3.01. Fuck that guy. I've been recording for, wow, a whole minute. It feels like five. This will be awful. Now, I introduced myself as Jack Onason. But if I ever have a guest and or my ho, co-host, ho-host with the most, slash uh, guest, I'm not sure if he's a guest or a co-host yet. Right now, he's leaning toward guest. But if he actually goes through and calls in, maybe he can be a co-host. I'm not sure. All I really know is I'm the host. Fuck you. On to my um, initial thoughts here. I'm going to be referring to myself as Clint, Clinto, Into, and Jack Renaissance. Because that's what people call me. I can't really get away from it. Now I'm going to take a sip of water because I'm thirsty. So, my idea towards recording a podcast is I'm just going to talk into a mic for a while. And that'll be that. There's not going to be any structure. I don't have a plan. I'm not going to discuss fighting game news. I I could if I feel like it. I'm just going to talk. Now, I would have preferred to have a second person here with me, Wirtville, you bastard, but whatever. So, am I just going to have a conversation with myself? Is there going to be another person calling in so that I can get it back and forth, a little dialogue going? Hey, buddy, what's up? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm just talk for a bit. Mm, I guess I could talk about myself. I'm rather narcissistic. I like talking about myself. I'm rather fond of myself. The waveform is telling me that right now you guys just heard the footsteps that I heard above my head. And I'm sure you did because this microphone is a lot better than my ears are. Even if it's not that good. So... Say la vie. And once again, I'm getting paranoid that I might not be talking loud enough because my waveform doesn't look loud. Even that, I tried to make it sound louder so it would look louder, but it didn't. It didn't. Why am I doing this? Well, I wanted to. I don't know why I wanted to. But I know I wanted to. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I get real bored. I do shit. I like having things drown out my thoughts. So I listen to podcasts. Mm. Super best friend cast. Uh, although I suppose it's uh, Castle Super Beast now. I miss those. No, I will miss those guys. Uh, together. 
collaboratively. Uh, I watch their, their stuff individually. Mostly Pat and Wooly's streams. I guess that's a personal bias, but it's nothing against Matt. I like Matt. Spider-Man video is pretty cool. This is very bad, but I'm going to record and upload it anyways because I'm just going to fill my YouTube channel up with garbage. And I don't care. The entire channel's been one long seven-year shit post of which I take very long breaks and go through very long art. I started that channel with fucking... I put a push pop into a nerf lawn shot, cocked the hammer back, recorded this nerf gun on my iPod touch, pulled the trigger and the concussive air from the nerf gun pushed the push pop out. It was a six second video. I think it has 800 views. This was at my friend's house. I don't talk to that friend anymore. He's not even in the same city. Uh, yeah. That was, that was how I started this. That was seven years ago. I remember the first channel I had subscribed to was Nightmare RH. He's what got me to make my, uh, my YouTube account back in like 2000. I think it was 2000. I know I, I know I got on Twitter on 2011, but my channel might be older than that. I'm not honestly sure. But Nightmare RH, if you haven't heard of him, he uh he made RuneScape videos. But what made them special was he'd freak out and he'd destroy his computer. Yeah, that was. And so the the point of it was He's going to go into the wilderness in the video game RuneScape. He's going to, you know, get killed or something. And then he's going to go whoopa 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 as a video shows him taking like a crowbar to a desktop computer. And so I created a, uh, a, cha a channel to subscribe to him for like some giveaway or some shit. I don't remember. I was real little. This was upstairs on a a think pad with like the red nipple that controls the mouse and so what happens here is um you fast forward a bit uh i'm making minecraft lps on a gateway laptop and built-in microphone eventually it's the, uh, no, 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 the Minecraft LPs was after it. Before. No, I was doing Team Fortress 2, and then I got this microphone and an Elgato Game Capture HD that I still use to make Modern Warfare 2 videos. Here's a spoiler alert. Um, I'm not good at Modern Warfare 2. Also, I was like 12. So, you've got squeaky voice kid, 12 years old. I can hear people stomping around above me, and that's very distracting. Those are probably in everything I've done, is footsteps above me, because I'm a basement gremlin. So, I've got this Elgato Game Capture HD, which I still use. Uh, my first two ten against the entire city was uh, recorded on that. Uh, I do need to record me. Uh, so the stream, the uh, recording got fucked up for that, and uh, like uh, it stopped recording between uh, one of the matches of uh, me versus my. Where are they going? That has got to be my sister. I don't know what it is with people in this house and making noise when they move. Like, do they want everyone to hear where they are? That's, I find that weird. Like, I try to, I 
try to move around without making like any noise so I can see sneak up on people and then like surprise them and then I find that amusing for some reason but all I can hear is just boom 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 now don't get me wrong I still know my train of thought here I'm talking about how right now the recording of that uh, first to ten against um, Wartville uh, his jam versus my Leo I 10 owed him body disaster that is currently on the the PlayStation uh, I'm gonna have to record the replays there's not going to be any commentary but that's fine because the commentary was very very bad due to the static I made a mistake I should probably have just used Tenma's Avermedia. But I didn't. I wanted to uh, do it the way I did it. And it's whatever. So there's about 23 games missing from that video because the stream got. It was uh, me 10 0ing Workville and then me going 310 versus uh, PPPD 340, which is a uh, Jap code. If you uh, want to look that up, don't if you're not uh, of age. That was me um, winking and making a click noise with my mouth. And I'm trying to open the wrong bottle of water to take a sip. This is the correct one. Ah, I can hear that through my headphones, which means I know you can hear that. It sounds very bad. But that's whatever. So, on to the initial point as to why I was talking about those first attends. I've had that Elgato for a long time. A long time. Since people were playing Modern Warfare 2 and uploading the videos to fucking YouTube. Back on fucking... Man, was I... No, I wasn't playing on Ether... Wait. Oh, I remember. I played on Ethernet until I got Wi-Fi so I could no longer have to play on Wi-Fi. That was... Oh, those were awful, awful days. So I find myself... Uh, I try to improve the uh, superficial things in my life. So I look back at myself and I say, Yeah, I bullied the hell out of that kid. And I don't think I got bullied enough as a kid. Or at least, uh, if I did get bullied, I wasn't bullied well enough to the point where I can't remember actually being significantly bullied, even though I should have been. Like, I've got a level of self-confidence that I think is unjustified. And that some snot-nosed kid whose parents are going through a divorce should have tried to beat out of me a bit harder. Uh, the result is uh, I'm rather manipulative and I'm a narcissist and I want everybody I meet to like me and I, I need everybody I meet to like me so uh, that's who I am um, let's fast forward so Modern Warfare 2 we go to I think we go to the Bear Grylls Minecraft LP episode one where I started recording even though it wasn't like raw, like I'd already been playing. I just decided to record, hey, this is where I'm at in Minecraft right now. Also, I'm like 14, I guess. Hmm. God. Oh, and I've like, uh, I've rebranded myself like a bunch of times. I think I'm finished changing my name. I think Jack Onason's the one I'll stick with I say right now. But every time it's just a joke I find funny. It used to be base cheester my am I uh, I'm not going to tell you what the MI stands for, but it was a uh, it was a joke when I was was I seventeen or eighteen? I think I was I think it was a joke from the ages of seventeen till eighteen. And then I carried that for a while. Yeah, um, now it's Jack Renaissance. If you don't know, I uh, play anime fighting games. And by I play anime fighting games, I mean I play Guilty Gear and exclusively Guilty Gear, and I don't like other video games. 
uh, in terms of fighting games. Um, wait, no, that's not true. I like Skullgirls, but Skullgirls is really good, so you can't not like it. And if you don't like it, you're wrong. You're just incorrect. Well, 15 minutes already. I only have to do, what, another 75 by myself? You bastard. I say looking at the uh, Discord chat of my co-host still not having called in. Although, I told him to just call in if he can, and he hasn't, so that's no real big deal. It's not his fault. <sighs> that sounds beautiful for the mic. For the, um, no listeners, by the way. Alright, so let's, uh, let's keep going here. <clears throat> so... In Guilty Gear Xrd, Revelator, and Rev2, but pretty much the same game. Uh, there's plots, I guess. I don't really care about them. Um, there's this character, Jacko, and she's the cutest. Alright, so I've left enough of a pause for you guys to realize I'm being serious when I say she's the cutest. Anyway, she's the cutest character in the game. And for plot, she has a split personality between an older woman, an Onesan, and a child. And I do not care for the child. I only care about the part of Jacko that's the older woman, thus Jack Onesan. And I used to play Jacko, so I called myself Jack Onesan. Because I thought I was being clever. Anyways, when I say I played Jacko, I really meant... I pressed like uh, 5H and then that move is hella minus and I try to hit confirm off it and go into a combo but my basic my basic uh, usage was I go 5K close slash 5H and then hit confirm and there's a character that's not great at doing that, but a lot better at doing 5k close slash 5h hit confirm. And that character is Leo. Character I currently play, Big Gorilla Man. He's not very cute. I wish he was. If I could just replace the aesthetic of Jacko with the gameplay of Leo, I would. But I'm not allowed to do that. Or at least I haven't asked. I can still hear people above me. So, I've been playing Guilty Gear for a little bit over a year. Uh, first tournament comes. Uh, Dash Fest in Hamilton at 1UP Games. Dash Fest number 4, I believe. It's run by uh, Vince uh, for Steel City Fight Night. S-S-C... Steel City S-C... Yeah, yeah, still see fight night, I think. Anyways, I'm uh, playing Guilty Gear. I play up against uh, Dizzy, um, Entel Fluff. I think that's how you pronounce that. I've never really heard it pronounced out loud. I don't think so. Anyway, Dizzy player. Uh, bodies my ass. Zero two. Just immediately. I, I'm just getting stomped, which, I mean, I still do, but... That's beside the point. Um, and then I don't even get as close as the other Jacko player in my city against uh, our buddy. What is this tag? This tag's really dumb, but it's a dead IRL, but not really. Anyways, he plays against our uh, our Jacko player, Better Andrew, who. His Jacko is he does 3H, 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 and then jumps up and shoots fireballs, and then goes back down on the ground to go 3H, 3H, 3H. Now, if you do 3H on Jacko, that's her uh, sweep, so it's a uh, down forward heavy slash, and she slides across the ground, she can low profile things. Uh, depending on the range and what active frame it hits on, it can be plus and it gives you knockdown. If you do 3H, 3H, you will hit them out of that knockdown and they will air tag. If you do 3H, 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 you will 
get a knockdown, hit them out of that knockdown so they can tech. The next 3H will be punishable and you'll get comboed. And then he'll do things like uh, air fireballs, so you have this wall of constant fireballs coming from the air, and if you're not ready, he'll do 3H or 6H, usually like 3H, 6H, and then jump up fireballs. Uh, 6H in Guilty Gear for Jacko is this uh, up forward uh, chain, so she just makes a real big hitbox, knocks down pretty much uh, depending on where and how you get hit, you're uh, getting stuck to the wall and she can hit another one. And if you're too close to her, she'll throw you. Because uh, 6 and 4H, so forward and backwards, heavy slash, uh, are the proximity throws, sort of like Street Fighter 2. So that's what he'd do. It's not exactly what I'd do. I tried to, air quotes, play Jacko more properly. No. I mean, I still tried to uh, play her. I tried to play her as a mix between a rushdown and a grappler. That's what I wanted her to be. I wanted to be the Jacko that goes in. Because uh, her play style is she sets up these houses. I call them boxes. Uh, my old tournament was Jacko Nason presents Drop a Box, which is from. Uh, I was playing my buddy, uh, Prisma Sigma. This is way early on. It's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're at the university where we play out on the weekend. And every time I have an opportunity to place a house, he said, box. So I drop a box. And that'd be when I place a house. And it summons these minions, and they can, uh, they're can they useful in combos and block strings. And they also you know deal damage and whatnot. They can kind of tank hits for you and they're very annoying to play against but I didn't exactly like that it made me feel like a pussy uh, just having like a quick setup and then the, the houses do all the work so I decided hmm, I'm gonna try and play her more like a, a soul basically I want to play her as if she was like a simpler version of Soul, but she also has these houses and not a real good projectile. I mean, throwing the house is good, but it's not like easy use. And then JD's weird too. I mean, you can get around it, and whatever. Whatever, not important. So I think this uh, better Andrew guy, he beats doesn't beat Dead or IRL, but he gets fairly close for... Uh, he's a weird guy to play against. Like, it's real strange the way you have to do it. Because he's just going to do those three things. Uh, 3H, 6H, JD. That's all he does. Well, he'll also do, like, JH, but that's him trying to air throw you. Not him trying to put the button out. He's mostly just trying to throw the fireballs in the air. And it's weird because you really don't want to lose to him because you can't lose to that sort of guy. So you're always like, you're not playing perfectly. You're, you're, you're playing to prove that you're not capable of losing to uh, that sort of level of play. So it's weird. So he gets, you know, however far he gets against uh, Dead or IRL. And then uh, I go up to play against him. Uh, Dead or IRL. And I'm playing same character, Jacko, completely different play style. I'm trying to play in my head what I consider proper, well as to not be a pussy. So, I'm playing, and uh, I don't remember if I take a round. I think I lose just straight out. Uh, Jacko's 3H or Jacko's 5H the button that I pretty much relied on my combo would be um, it'd be something like uh, close slash 
or 5k close slash uh, 5h hit confirm into um, backwards dust so four dust I'll explain number notation there in a little bit uh, four dust and then like I chew them at the ground and then I drop a house and that'd be it or uh, if I have meter regardless on hit or block I do uh, after 5h I do uh, 214, so a quarter circle motion backwards, slash, and then dash up after that. So that's her super. It creates a, uh, a pillar of flame. She like volleyballs it down on you, or a uh, pumpkin. And then you can uh, dash up after that, do like JK, JS, jump cancel. Oh, wow, jump cancel, name of the podcast. Uh, fighting game terms, people. Also, Devil May Cry. Bayonetta, I think. A couple of my favorite games. Well, Bayonetta is my favorite game. And then uh, there's a few other. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, then you do like close slash 5H 4D. You get the same, same kind of knockdown. And you still get a house set. It's just more damage and it looks cooler. You can do more from it, I think, too. But whatever. It's not the best way to end a combo. Usually you want to do um like after close slash or some sort of string that ends into like 2H, mash, knockdown, and you can set up like two houses, or like a house and a safe jump, something like that. Yeah, it's the it's the better button, it's not the button I rely on. So what happens is, uh, I go O2, I'm real pissed off at it, I'm like, man, I can't keep doing this with Jacko. It's not working. So, I switched to Leo. Very different character, much more my style. Big guy, big buttons. He can make himself, his pressure is weird in the fact that like, he can go for a lot of frame traps that Jacko could also go for, but I was a lot more comfortable going for them with him. And with Jacko, you have a lot less options after you press 5H. With Leo, you can do, um, so with Leo's 5H, what you wanna do is you wanna instant block and throw it if he's doing like, uh, if he's just doing his combo, like 5H, uh, 5H Rekkas. If he's just doing that, instant block 5H, throw Rekka. Or instant block Rekka one and then throw. But after 5H, like you should be able to instant block 5H. That's like a requirement of the matchup. You also need to know how to um, how to FDM out of the strings, because like something like um, 5K close slash 5H 6H. Mm, I think what you want to do is you want to be uh, you want to be FDing somewhere so that after the 6H, the 5K that is going to be using to uh, frame trap with you, you want that to whiff and you want to whiff punish it or something. Not, I don't exactly know how to defend it against my character, I just know how to press the buttons that my character presses. 28 minutes, huh? All right, not too bad. But with Leo, after 5H, if you instant block and you go for a throw, if I'm reading that you're instant blocking it, I can do um, 2D, which is his uh, sweep. So, and that'll counter hit your throw attempt. And then, uh, depending on, mm, well, not really. You can't really, oh, that was my knee, beautiful. Can't really combo that off the, too easily, but I mean, it gets a knockdown, gets a setup. Uh, you can also do like, um, Hold 5H, which will transition Leo into his other form, his uh, back turn stance, which uh, changes his buttons, gives him access to an unblockable. Uh, he still has all of his specials. Um, he can use his third Rekka just by itself. Uh, he has an overhead, an unblockable overhead too. Uh, two different overheads, both of them are. Well, one of them's fast-ish, it's 18 frame startup. But yeah. This is, this is how it goes. So you hold 5H, 
And if you think they're mashing on your 5H, you can um, press dust and he'll do a parry stance. And if they're pressing a button, it'll parry that button, depending on uh, the frames. And uh, you can get a combo off that with a knockdown. Depending on the character, you can get a big ass combo off it too. Well, most characters you get a rather good combo. I usually do a simpler one. Depending. Because sometimes you get a better mix up off of certain things versus like damage. And so. And sometimes the combo's a bit. a bit weird to do, so. I vote for doing a non optimal mix up versus uh, big damage. Although occasionally I'll, I'll go for the big damage if I think I can land it. Some characters it's hard on. Like lightweights, you have to do. Um, lightweights, you have to do a uh, stricter timing version of uh, your corner combo off of your shield. Versus a character like Soul, what I do is I do um, the shield, wreck a two, and then instead of going um, the punch and then jump cancel that into slash and then jump cancel that into a JKJH restand, I just do uh, the wreck -a and then slash H. So I'm just adding in a, a, a wreck -a dash instead of just a regular forward dash. And on an air hit, that gives you a mix-up. You can go left, right, high, low. It's not too bad. I like it. Um, don't try and do like left, right, left, right, because that's throwable. Well, not going to say don't try to do it. Do it if they don't expect you to do it, and if you think they can't react to it. But yeah, so after Leo's 5H, you have a, a ton more options. Like if you hold 5H and do like BTP, uh, and they're trying to throw you. Depending on their timing, uh, you have thrown vulnerability. If they're trying to do something else, it might not work. Mm, well, you have more options out of it rather than uh, Jacko, where she can jump cancel the first hit, but yeah, she can jump cancel the first hit. She can special cancel any part of it, and that'll change its frame data. But it's still minus in every case and it's never not punishable. Whereas Leo, there's a lot more you can do from it. And then he's a character that's very forward oriented. So his plan is to go in and to stay in as long as he can. He wants to close the distance. He wants to play aggressively at all times, which is what I like from a character. I like to be aggressive. So I switched to Leo. Um, couple weeks later I'm in Toryukin and I play a boy from Windsor uh, Apple and he stomps my ass uh, yeah so I'm gonna have to pay him back for that in a few days so I uh, go O2 in that tournament but I don't change characters this time because I'm feeling good about Leo uh, he was working out for me I liked him uh, we have a couple more tournaments, uh, like local tournaments. I do, I do okay in those. I don't think I've. Yeah, it's not not been too bad. Um, playing with my headphone cable. Yeah, so we fast forward a little bit. Uh, Toryukin's done, and. Now let's say we're in uh, October. So we went from May to the beginning of October, and we're starting that. Uh, there's a tournament like every Saturday, leading up to a uh, Canada Cup, the uh, the big Canadian tournament. And so that's what me and everyone else have been uh, working towards. Is this uh, Canada Cup? <sighs> So we're in Windsor. I don't end up playing against uh, Apple. Uh, I play against uh, a boy from Waterloo and let's see, 
boy from Waterloo, uh, a boy from Mice, and then uh, PPP or PPPD three forty, and uh, Gummy Gummy the uh, Milia slash May slash Kai slash Milia slash May player from the uh, first ten video. That uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh. I'm able to beat them, and then what happens at uh, Board and Sea Brawl in Windsor? I uh, I play a bad matchup for Leo against um, what was his name? Myro, Myro, I think it was. Anyway, he's a pretty good Blaze Blue player, and he's playing Jacko. Oh no, the character I dropped. For the character I'm playing right now, I've got to play a person who also plays that character. I get my ass beat. Now, he's not doing, like, the most optimal shit. Because he's not a Guilty Gear player. He's a Blaze Blue player. But fighting games, especially anime fighting games, they're rather transitive. Skills you have in one game can usually transfer to skills. Especially, like, mind, mind game things. Like, you might not have the best combos, but you might have better offense because you just know how to open people up better so there's uh there's that so i get uh so i lose to ppb pppd 340 get sent to losers beat a guy from my city so now i'm uh i'm up to one in losers up against a jacko player he wipes the floor with me I think it was, um, I think I took a round, but I don't think I took a game. So it was just the absolute worst showing that I could have had up against uh, a character I dropped because uh, it's not that Jacko's bad, but she's bad for me. She's cute. It's what gave me my name. But she's not a great character for me to play. Uh, the most Unga you can get still listen as Unga as I need her to be needs more buttons that are plus at the end of her gatling so jacko her um her 2k and her close slash are both plus three but those are like the first buttons in her hit confirm so either you do like a bunch of like 5p 5p 2k or 5p 5p 5k close slash if you do that for your hit confirm you're ruining your damage because uh, there's a lot of proration on some of those moves. Whereas something like Leo, if I go um five k close slash, if I go something like um five k close slash far slash six h, so there's a gap in there. You can hit me at that. That's not real. But at that at the end of that exchange, at the end of that six uh, h, I'm plus five, I think plus five so i can go for a frame trap after that but on a character like jacko um your only opportunity for like a a good frame trap is after like close slash when you're plus three and so you can uh try and beat out a uh a four frame normal or a three frame normal with six frame normal and higher frame startup usually means better move but with leo i can go but with jacko that requires me to to hit confirm on close slash and I ain't great at that I'm still not great at that I still need to work on it because uh, going like with Leo going like 5k close slash far slash if I'm hit confirming on the far slash that's a bad time because I my only option is to go uh, 2d for a knockdown or um, super uh, what you really want to be doing so this applies to both Jack O and to Leo as well so you want to go on something like 5k close slash and the close slash should be the button that you hit confirmed on and for both cases I go like 5k close slash 5h on both Leo and Jacko and I've already explained that Leo has better options after 5h than Jacko does he can go into 6h if you really fucking are scared of him he can go for 6h and then he's plus he gets frame trap Alright, so, we end Border City Brawl, I'm, uh, I went 2-2, I mean, I went 3-2, two, 
if you look at the uh, the smash.gg, but I went 2-2. Uh, one of my matches was a DQ. So I'm feeling all right. Uh, jump forward one week. We're in uh, Waterloo. I think I go um, one and two. And then jump forward a week again. And I'm in Toronto. <sighs> it's Canada Cup time. And so I play against uh, Sway. Uh, he's a jam player. Apparently he's a, a good jam player. I, I say apparently as as if I'm uh, in the mindset of myself back then. I know he's a good jam player now, but I hadn't really heard of him because, I don't know, my Twitter's full of anime titties instead of Guilty Gear players. So I thought, all right, uh, beat this jam player, beat two other guys. I get to play against the best guy in the province, uh, Peppery Splash. And see how my Leo does against his Venom. Uh, I played him back in Waterloo uh, a little bit. Gave me some, a little bit of advice on what to do against Venom. So that was, that's pretty cool. Uh, his advice was, uh, as Leo, uh, do dash jump forward. And then if he's committing to something, press uh, JK. And if he's not committing to something, air back dash. Because you still have your air movement. So, uh. I tried to remember that, but I didn't get to test it out. Did I? No, I didn't. Uh, cause, uh, Sway beats me, uh, 2-0. I didn't even take a round on I think I got, like, quadruple perfected. I mean, I didn't, but it feels like I did. So, I, uh, I'm at Canada Cup. I'm 0-1 in brackets so far, and I'm up against May. Play him, I win. I'm I'm feeling pretty good. What six down next to me is uh, another May. I'm like, oh boy, all right. I just played this matchup. I won. I felt good about it. Um, oh fuck, oh fuck. I took uh, one game and that was it. I was out. Uh, ended the Canada Cup one and two. After playing Leo for a little little bit, I'm like, fuck. I still don't know this matchup. I thought I did. I still don't. Uh, so I talked to, um, Mr. K real quick, uh, and he says just 2-H for shit. So I'm like, alright, I'll, uh, I'll try that, but, um, our only May player in the city, well, this is me narrating now, not, uh, part of the conversation earlier. Wow, I have no structure to this. When I said all I'm going to do is press record and start talking, that's, that's what I meant. So I, um... Yeah. So in my city, we have uh, two air quote May players, but um, one of them only switches to May when Milia's not working out, and I think now he's a Elfelt player, but more so than that, he's a uh, Undernight Inbirth EX Late ST player, uh, more so than anything. So, A. I'm losing all my Guilty Gear players in my city. And B, the uh, only two people who could give me May experience don't really pick May that often or don't even play the game that often. Like uh, our other May player is uh, Dragon Ball Boy, Prisma Sigma. Hmm. All right, so. Candy Cup's over. I went 1-2. Drank, have fun, ate some good food, ate some, yeah, yeah, food. The sides at a wall, wall of burgers are pretty shit, but the burgers are good. So just get the burgers. Uh, I mean, the tater poutine was all right, but the regular poutine's not worth it. Tater tots by themselves, not worth it. The Caesars were $14 when I got one at Toriyukin, so also not worth it. Not the salad drink, of course, no. So Canada Cup's over. Uh, it's November, whatever, go about my days, blah, 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 go to work, go home, go to work, go home, play fighting games. Um, I net play at some point. 
and uh, I start dropping my Rekkas. So with Leo, all right, so first off, I'm going to explain number notation. So if you look at the number pad on your keyboard, you have five is the center, which makes six forward, four backwards, eight a neutral upwards, and two a neutral downwards. So if you're on player one side and you press six, you're going to go forward. If you press four, you're going to block uh, mid and highs. If you press uh, one, you're not going to move, but you're going to do a crouch block. So you're crouching, um, crouch blocking mid-level attacks and uh, low-level attacks. And this is useful, especially in anime games, because uh, some of the inputs can be complex, and you have a, uh, and it's um, international. So you can always use the numbers to talk to uh, like Japanese players, like um, 5h close slash, or which we refer to as a uh, c dot uppercase s, uh, 5h 236s is uh, the same as saying um, stand kick uh, close slash stand heavy slash and then quarter circle forward S. And so something like jump forward would be nine. Something like jump back would be seven. A dash would be uh, six, six. A back dash, four, four. And it's an air dash, uh, nine, five, six. And so you're able to use the numbers to describe movement of the, uh, the joystick. Although um, I haven't mentioned this yet, but uh, I went from being a pad player to a playing on a stick. I went from a Kamba Q1 with a really pretty art of Jacko on it to a, a Kamba Obsidian to a Nike shoebox with a bunch of buttons put into it because I'm a hitbox player now. Or shoebox player now. Because I want to cheat. Shoeboxes are cheating. 100%. It's got a Brooks board in it. It's not actually cheating, but everything's easier on it. So... As far as I'm concerned, <sighs> makes my life easier. Way, way, way! I want to learn how to use joystick. Way, way, way! At wrists. All right. So back to Leo. So his combo is um like his basic bread and butter, B and B, is a uh, five K close slash five H two three six S two three six H. 214 S and that gives you a knockdown and it gives you a chance to do a few different setups um, say with a H fireball so H sonic boom um, hold 4 go 6-6 uh, six, six, and then heavy slash and you have like a 10 frame window to uh, still hold that back charge so you can still get your uh, sonic boom out but you give it dash momentum so it can hit meaty, and you can uh, Roman cancel it, and then like get setups left rights. You can even do um. Uh, I remember I can't cut Mr. K and uh, Glacial Rain. They're talking about um, and they're both very drunk at this point. Uh, so was I. Uh, but they're talking about different types of uh, H boom setups. So Mr. K was saying he goes um. H boom, no dash, Y or C. Uh, then 2S, 236S, 236H. And that'd be a setup. All right, back to, uh, or forward in time to November. I start dropping my recos. And I have no fucking clue why. I still don't know why probably have yeah i mean i'm 100 percent sure it's because i wasn't practicing as hard because the big tournament was gone and now i've uh <sighs> lost all my skill with leo wow well, going for like 50 minutes yeah so i've lost my skill with leo and i can't complete my combo anymore the uh, last hit which gives the knockdown i'm like resetting i'm not trying to so let's uh Go forward in time, um, two, three weeks, and, uh, 
it's the last locals that we're going to have at this bar we play at in my city. And I do that first 10 gauntlet. And if you watch that gauntlet, you'll see the amount of times that I don't complete my combo because for some reason I'm still dropping my Rekkas. And, and that's where we're left. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I've been talking about the last 50 minutes. I've just been rambling. I, I guess I gave a, a brief introductory to my history with the FGC. And uh, uh, I guess an even broader introductory to uh, YouTube and the events of which have led to this podcast. Of which I have done alone. Fuck you, Wordville. Garbage-ass co-host. Doesn't even show up on time. Although, then again, he didn't, he didn't know if he could. I just tried to uh, set a date so that I'd actually record something. Because the hardest part is actually starting. Alright, uh, that's been... 50 minutes, I'm, I'm done.